Today, I'm gonna to show you how to install the WeatherTech alloy cover on my 2021 Ram Rebel. Hit that like and subscribe and stay tuned. Okay, so I did a lot of research for buying the snow and we even went through the instruction manuals, took a look at those. It's been a lot of time. There's nobody out there that sells it to know that's gonna tell you it is 100% waterproof. So I've kind of learned that the hard way nowadays. I've had to know this all my life, never had one leak on me, but nobody says they're waterproof. They'll say they're weather resistant, but the one thing the weather tech says is that their seams between the trifolds are waterproof. So I was happy to see that. The other thing is most of these low profile hardtop covers, they basically are designed with inside rails that collect water with drain tubes, okay? For instance, the undercover, the backflip MX-4, they've got drains in them. When I saw those, I was like, well, what the heck? We're designing a system to collect water inside the bed and drain it out. The weather tech is designed to shed the water so you don't need those rails and those drain tubes. So I was happy to see that. So I feel pretty good about the idea that this might be as close to waterproof as I can get compared to some of these other covers. And that's the whole point of a tunnel, right? To keep your stuff from getting wet from the shelter from this weather. So looking at the instructions, one thing I want to tell you that I did not see was how to account for the front end. And I'm going to show you up close here what I'm talking about. Okay, again, this is a 2021 Ram Rebel 1500. It's the five foot seven inch bed. Came with the Mopar sprayed in liner. Of course, this comes with the plastic rail caps come down the side. And as we come to the front, you see there's a gap there. There's space of that much, if you will. And that cover is gonna sit basically on the rails just over the edge of this piece right here. So my question was, how do we account for this? Cause it did not include any kind of bulkhead foam ceiling or anything to go up here but obviously there's going to be a gap across this whole front if it's sitting this high so i called weather tech and talked to them about it they got the supervisor to take a look at it. i sent a picture and they said yes we have a seal product that will work and it'll take care of that gap and so they included that with this they said it's two different shipments but they didn't charge me for it they said you'll need it for your truck the way your setup is and we feel confident that that's going to take care of that front section you shouldn't have water coming in so they sent that to me and basically it's this seal right here this L-shaped rubber gasket, if you will. And there were no instructions with it, so I had to call WeatherTech again. The good thing about them is they do answer the phone. You get somebody on the phone knows what they're doing. But I talked to them, and basically where this L piece goes, the back of the L, the vertical piece, that's going to go towards the cab. So it's going to sit like this with the cab that way, okay? So we'll show you that as we get in here. We're going to go ahead and open this up. We're going to show you what tools you need, and hopefully it should be just a painless install here. Okay, this is how it comes packaged right here. Looks like it was securely packaged. Looks good. The other thing that was nice about this is from the time I placed the order, I had it in about five days, which is really awesome. Some people are, have big delays on getting the product out to you. So we're gonna... Okay, just to give you an idea of the design here, this is the driver's side rail, left side of the truck bed. This is the front piece that's going to go up towards the cab. And you can see they've got this piece right here all the way down is some waterproofing uh, foam they've got in here that's going to go flush against your side rail. This edge here is gonna go over the side rail. You kinda of see it's curved in that direction, okay? So this part goes level, this is curved away. Your truck, the truck uh, bed cover is gonna sit on this rail that's level and it's gonna flush water out. You've got this gasket that's gonna run the full length of this rail here against your cover. And they also use four clamps instead of three that most people use. So I feel like that's gonna give a good uh, water, very good waterproof seal to it. So first thing we're gonna do is, is get these things mounted and basically it's just uh, put these up against the rail, make sure this piece is level. This is gonna be hanging over the top of the edge and we'll show you that once we get it on there. And then you're gonna start putting clamps down it, one as close to the front of the bed corner as you can, then you go a third of the way, another third of the way, and then once as close to the back as you can to get the rail put on this. So we're gonna show you Before that. we get started, what might be handy is a half inch socket. They also recommend a half inch torque wrench, which I don't have. They want, they recommend torquing these things to 20 foot pounds. I'm just gonna go with a guess on that. And then some spring clamps that you can use to help hold that rail in place so you don't have to have you know, two people or somebody helping you hang it up there. So let's do it. Okay, so one thing about these clamps, there's two different configurations of clamps. And it's hard to tell when you look at these diagrams, but see how these clamps fit together? So with this scenario right here, basically it's meant to go lower on your clamp, okay? Or this will go lower on the bar. And if you need to go higher on the bar, you would reverse one of the sides and then you can go further up. You got a bigger clamping area to go further up. And the idea is if you're clamping in the low position and it turns out you're clamping and your bar 
is coming down too much like this where it's not level and you need to go up, you're gonna come clamp higher up and maybe bring it up. So you have to experiment with your truck bed, uh, how it'll work. All right, you're gonna take the piece with this end piece right here, that's the front piece. You're gonna put it up against your rail. You're gonna go all the way so it's touching the front there. Make sure this lip is just above your rail there and you want this level. And then what I'm gonna do is take one of these clamps here and just hold it here for me. Well, I get my clamps on. All right, on the inside of this clamp right in here, it's grooved for these teeth to fit in. So I'm gonna kind of do a fitment here and see what we got where I need to be. And we're gonna hand tighten this to start with. Okay, so, you know, make sure it's all the way forward. Get that clamped in pretty tight and close over there. This needs to be just above that. So the water sheds in that direction. This piece needs to be level, okay? So I'm gonna go a third of the way, mount the next clamp and go from there. All right, and as you go down each one of these clamps, make sure you're checking the top that this is still over, got the runoff there. Everything, nothing's getting torqued or anything like that. So you got one more clamp to put on this side and then we'll be good on the side. Okay, so on this last clamp, you wanna go as far that way as you can and go ahead and get that tightened up. And you can see the kind of the clamp orientation. I'm using just a stock one where you got the, where they're opposite of each other. So as you're doing, I'm just making sure the runoff still looks like it's there. It's awesome. All right, so we got the four clamps on this side. We're going to do the other rail side. I'm not going to film all that, but same thing on the other side. Just want to show you what this looks like when we're done. You can kind of see how that there's a current an edge there to it where it slopes down to the bed cap rail. Got the passenger side rail mounted, driver side rail mounted. Just make sure they're all in good shape. Now, the next piece I have to tackle is the seam that's going to come across here. That rubber sealant they gave me but first i want to put the tonneau on so i know exactly where i need to put it on here because it's nothing's in the instructions about this seam i had to call and ask about that so i'm gonna go ahead and put the cover up here and you know basically figure it out from there okay now okay so this is the front side of the tonneau it's going to go towards the cab of the truck you know this by the little clips right here that hold these pieces back you also know it because right here you've got this clip and there's this latch, whatever you want to call this little thing, it protrudes right here. And it's going to slide right under this piece right here, okay? That's what's going to lock this back piece on. So I'm going to do that, figure out how far back it comes back before I put my other sealant on. So the front edge of the tonneau that goes towards the cab has a pretty good seal here. It seems like it's a little over an inch dropping down there. So I don't know how tight that, that forms a seal there. So we are going to go ahead and use the seal kit they sent me. They did say, again, the back of the L, if you will, goes towards the cab. So I'm gonna mount it right along the edge here, like this. This rubber seal back here, this rubber seal comes to about right here. So I think it's just gonna be a double seal in case anything comes through the first one, hopefully it won't get through the second one, uh, just to provide that extra layer of security. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this all the way across. And I did clean this off with an alcohol wipe first before I started taping this down. Okay, got it set in place. First panel's in, it's locked in good. One of the things, there was a lot, a lot of cardboard debris all on this uh, rubber stuff, and so I was using a wet rag just to kind of clean that up. But once you have that first piece on, attached to the rail system, you've got a carabiner, and you got a little clip right here. So you want to clip that on there, that's just extra security for this thing. It's locked down under those latches in the back, and extra security on both sides, so make sure you do that. Then we're going to hook this on over here, and we're going to open this up, and see what this looks like. This. Yeah, let's get the cardboard off of here for protection. Add on here. Yeah. Let's see here. That uh, there, and then it's gonna lock in the back. Boom. Locks down. All right. Let's check the tailgate piece of it out. Very uh, low profile design there. A little dirty from being packaged up. But we will definitely give this a test. And again, one of the reasons I went with this, they said these seams right here are waterproof. 
The only company I saw that said waterproof on these seams. I've seen other places where they talked about uh, these things rotting over time and the water getting in them. So just looking it over, I do feel like I got a good seal up in the front. Hey, we're gonna do the car wash and try this out. Let a rain come in here, try it out and see what it does. All right, that's what it looks like on the 2021 Ram Rebel. The WeatherTech alloy cover. Supports 400 pounds distributed. Weighs about 50 pounds to take on and off. All right, that's the basic install. So one of the things I do say is once you have the cover on, do not open it for 24 hours. Let it sit there to let that rubber kind of get accustomed to the fit. Once we're done with that, just to show you real quick, this has the same kind of pull down right here to open it up, okay? It's on both sides, so you just, one side you can open it up, either side you wanna do. So, that's it. All right guys, we are testing out the WeatherTech alloy cover. We're taking it through the car wash. We're gonna see how well it holds up, keeps the water out. So, that's the game plan, so. Let's go check this out. Oh, let's see what it looks like in here. All right, I'm really, that's where I'm concerned about right there. And I don't see any water coming in there. Neither one. So I'm thinking we got us a winner here with this cover. And there's a couple drops right here. That's one when I open the tailgate. But uh, yeah, I think we got a winner here. Excellent. <laughs>